Welcome back to our Let's Play of Shadowrun Returns. In the previous episode, we had shook down the Seamstress's Union in our effort to find Sam Watts' uh, killer or what happened to him specifically. And apparently a young woman by the name of Coyote, and I don't know if it was a young woman for certain, but she was a bartender there, and she was the one that was on duty while things kind of went down. So we found out a little bit of information about her. She might be a shaman. She had ordered zebra meat recently from Pike Place Market. And apparently she has a date with an individual named Paco there. Presumably a boyfriend, what we found out from her diary. So we're going there right now to figure out what's going on. She had purchased a pistol from an equipment vendor at the Seamstress's Union. Uh, a powerful close-range pistol. Apparently she thinks that she's going to be dealing with some sort of hellhound or something. I I don't want to deal with a hellhound, but let's see what's going on here. Oh, if you didn't miss it, we got snazzy clothes. I still need to pick up my freaking AK from wherever the hell our stash is. So find Coyote's boyfriend, Paco. Is this a new brother or a universal brotherhood? I'm willing to hear what they have to say. Until it goes all crazy in my ear. Uh, the handsome young man turns away from the crowd and fixes with his full, completely undivided attention. Sir, you are a beautiful human. But you would be so much more. But you could be so much more. Uh, that sounds great. Tell me more. Wonderful. The Universal Brotherhood is a family all-encompassing all, all metahumans, sexes, and sexualities. We all strive to be the very best we can to live more fulfilled, happy, and productive lives and to support each other in doing so. The first step is to simply come and listen. Tomorrow night, Lynn Telestrum will be speaking about the importance of the family in the sixth world. Please join us tomorrow and the secrets to a better life shall be revealed. He smiles and turns back to the crowd. Sure, I'll come by. Uh, I just need to wear my polarized glasses so I can deal with your, uh, what the hell is it, your hypnotic imagery and subliminal messages. Ref refurbished flowers. Interesting. Synth juice for sale, just fab today. I would be in the market for synth juice. Here's a Paco. Let's see anyone else. Let's head to Paco. Uh, do we want to head to Paco? Yeah, let's head to Paco. What's he got to tell us? Tall Lady Dreads? No, I haven't. The kid in front of you sports the trademark Yellow Cutters gang. Young, clean-shaven, he stands like he owns the street and everyone on it. He seems distracted, though, glancing around with increasing agitation. He looks over as you approach. Watch yourself. What do you want? Uh, wouldn't was it? You wouldn't happen to be looking for Coyote, would you? That's none of your fragging business. Who the hell are you? Ooh, we got Karma. Maybe save that to increase our decking skill. However, we haven't been using that a lot. I'm Ernest Dadaboom, looking for Coyote. Uh, ba Relax on the same turn. Uh, oh yeah. We're on the same team. I'm Ernest Dadaboo. I'm just here. It was it? I was just at the union. Your girlfriend's gone missing, and I'm helping to find her. The tough guy swagger seems to was it drain out of Paco. The cutter is gone, and before you stands a kid with a yellow jacket that doesn't quite fit. Coyote's missing. Oh man, that would explain. Uh, she was supposed to meet me here over an hour ago. Look, sorry for getting in your face. What else do you know? Is she missing? I need to find her. Well, maybe Paco's gonna be our new adventure buddy. I'm hoping. We need teammates. I like robots, though, but I like to socialize. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, Mari's Meat Market. That's where she bought that zebra shit. Uh, do you know a fixer named Mr. Delilah? Coyote was meeting him uh, a few days ago. I know of him, sure. Blake doesn't allow any cutters to take side gigs, though, so I got no reason to deal with him. Coyote hasn't said anything about taking new work. Wait a minute. Drek! I know where she went, damn it. Uh, why couldn't she wait, damn it? Paco, slow down. Tell me where she is. The Royal Apartments. The landlord, Stevie J, runs a drug ring out of the hellhole. Coyote grew up there. Doesn't like to talk about it much. She's been looking for a way to settle the score with that guy for years. A few days ago, I heard Mr. Delai was looking for runners to steal some sort of item from out underneath Stevie J's nose. She must have taken the job, I'm, job, I'm sure of it. And, with his, uh, was it. and if his thugs caught her, there's a grim determination in Paco's eyes. I'm going to come, what is it? I'm going over there. You coming? Um. One more thing. Coyote had a receipt for some zebra meat in a place called Mari's Meat Market. Ever heard of it? Zebra meat? What? 
Look, that shop's just down the block if you want to check it out, but I'm going to be with the Royale with your help. What's going to be? Uh... I'm in. Don't worry. We'll get her back. Damn right we will. Oh, we got a new buddy! Do we have a new buddy? Is there just... Yeah, we do have a new buddy. What does he do? He's got an Uzi. Uh, looks like he's got med kits. He's got a baseball bat. Uh, what does he do, though? What does he do? I don't know. He seems to be a street thug. Optional. Find Mori's Meat Emporium. That's our main one. I want to I I do that one. Mori, uh, no, optional. Find Mori's Meat Emporium. We said that as our main objective? Shit, okay. Public Meat, who is it, Market Center? Um. Ah, there we go. Mori's Meats. The small meat stand presents an enormous diversity of dead animals, from cow and canine to exotic and paranormal. The pictures on the back of the stand feature a much older version of the man in front of you. Oh, maybe this is his Maury's kid. Manny. As soon as he notices Paco, the um, proprietor's eyes become hard and angry. What do you want? You know we can't afford more. Relax, man. My friend just has a question. Everything cool here? Manny. Yeah, everything's swell. Manny continues to stare in daggers in uh, Paco's direction. Uh, the name's Manny. Oh, I wonder if they're selling people meat to Mari's Meat Emporium. Why would somebody want to buy zebra meat for? Some people eat it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Tough as nails. We most sell it, was it mostly sell it to corp security teams who use it to re reward their hellhounds. The flamers go crazy for the stuff for some reason. Oh, oh, Drek, that's why Coyote wanted zebra meat. Everyone talks about pet hellhound Stevie J has locked up somewhere in the Royale. If she never picked it up. Uh, whatever, anything else? Um, you know somebody named Coyote? Nope, didn't go in much for the shaman stuff. Um, I have this receipt for an order of zebra meat. Still have it for me? Yeah, there we go, zebra meats. I'll look it up. Yeah, I got it right here. Two days past the pickup time. Uh, didn't think anyone was going to come for it. Here it is. It's all yours. Uh, what's your problem with Paco? Why don't you ask him? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means that you gang likes to stroll through here and relieve us merchants of our new yen. My dad stood up to you and, uh, he's in the hospital still. Oh, you punk-ass bitch, Paco. Look, that's not my problem. I'm at the bottom of the cutter ranks anyway. I couldn't do dreck about that if you know who wanted to. Tell that to my dad. Burn, Paco! Burn! I don't think I have time for this. We need to find Coyote. Let's see if there's anything. Okay. There's no questions I need to ask. Alright, let's check this shit out. Oh, there's a crime scene here. Hopefully that's not Coyote. I'm just looking around, just looking around, folks. Seeing where I might want to look for stuff or loot. There was shit farther down the road this way, but is that where we want to go? Actually, let's double back this way. I think our objective is this direction, so I want to look in the other way. Um, find some secret loot, some alley stuff, who knows. And nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was a wild journey, folks. As your eyes adjust to the flashing lights, you spot the body of a woman, dead on the pavement behind the police line. Panic spreads across Paco's face. Oh, oh no, is that Coyote? This isn't happening. God damn it. Pulls yourself together. Take a look. Is that her? No, no, it's not her. Thank God. Look, uh, that's not... What was it? Let's not hang here too long, alright? Too many Lone Star pigs around. Paco looks over to the victim again. It's too bad. Whatever happened here, I'm not going to let anything happen like this. It was anything like this happened to Coyote. Well, I want to ask some questions, damn it. Ask some questions, indeed. Ooh, the Ripper. Maybe this is connected to the Ripper. A tall, emotionless Lone Star officer blocks your entry to the crime scene. Behind you, you spot the lively face of an organ grinder coroner, Dresden. Um, this is an active Lone Star investigation. Please step away from the barrier. Um, what happened here, officer? Let me through, please, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, damn it, we got another security etiquette. I'm glad we picked that one. 
Uh, Detective... I, I wonder how many academic ones are going to pop up ever. Detective Ernest Dresden Dadaboo here, or Ernest uh, Dadaboo, um, Auburn Precinct. We have reason to believe that the victim may have been involved in an illegal BTL smuggling ring we're investigating. I'd like to examine her belongings for evidence. Badge and sin, please? Well... There we go. It's alright, officer. He's with me. Alright, Dresden. Your creepy smile initially put me off, but you seem to be kind of coming through for us. Lying on the pavement is the body of a young human female. Her eyes have been gouged out. Somebody's making some sort of Frankenstein monster! Let's talk to Dresden first. So it brings you out here, hot on the trail of the dead man, was it, of the dead man's killer? Uh, coincidence, believe it or not. I take this as a stumble to cost another Ripper murder? Yeah, that's what it looks like. As you can see, the Ripper went for her, the eyes this time. Pretty clean work. I gotta hand it to him. Our Ripper knows what he's doing. Or she, I suppose. Uh, what do you know about the victim? Well, not much. Dresden scratches his head absent-mindedly, probably breaking some sort of sanitation protocol. She's been dead for about two, th was it, for three hours. Her name was Lucy Warden, worked at the Stuffer Shack just around the corner. Looks like she was just leaving work when it happened. Uh, can you tell if she was subdued in some way? That's the strange thing. There doesn't seem to be any sign of his struggle. Not a single bruise on her body, yet she was clearly alive when her eyes were taken. Uh, dried, was it, died of blood loss shortly thereafter. As to what knocked her out, I won't know until I can run some tests back at the lab. Uh, hmm. Maybe some sort of, like, large sonic pulse... I've been throwing out a lot of bullshit ideas. Maybe a large sonic pulse weapon uh, caused her to get knocked unconscious. That would blow out lights, wouldn't it, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I thought you, uh, ran the Redmond franchise. Isn't Pike Place a little far from home? Yeah, well, I don't mind the change of scenery. Uh, the corner for downtown branch is out of, for maternity. So I was told management that I'd told, was it, I told management that I'd cover for this one. Plus, I want the sicko caught. Uh, what about the bite marks on her arm? Ah, completely unrelated. It appears some wild dogs dragged the body out of here from the alley sometime after her death. Um, any sign of magic use here? Was there evidence of an unusual explosion in the area where she died? Now there's an interesting thought. No, nothing obvious though. I'm sure Mr. <laughs> was it McCluskey shows up when he'll call. Oh, was it when he'll call in a full magical forensics team though, just to be sure. So the Ripper takes Sam Watts' liver and this woman's eyes. Any theories? Trophies of some sort, I suppose. Probably some sort of um, symbolic significance to the killer. Beyond that, I couldn't speculate. Hey, I figure if I help you out, there's a better chance to get this scumbag off the streets a little sooner. McCluskey wants the Ripper in a cell, sure, but he couldn't care less if it takes another dozen murders. Good luck out there. Dresden starts to turn back to the body, then stops. Speaking of McCluskey, you should probably get going soon before he shows up. Uh, I want to talk to some people here. Officer Aguire. The plainclothes Lone Star officer before you sports a tacky hat and a crooked grin to match. So you're the one who's been working with the dead man, eh? McCluskey warned us that you may be sniffing around after the Ripper. Lucky for you, I got here before McCluskey. I'm Officer Aguera. Is Aguera? Pleased to meet you. Now, seeing as a crime scene is going uh, nowhere fast, what can I do for you? Uh, tell me about the... Taking you and McCluskey don't see eye to eye? Just say McCluskey and I have conflicting interests. Because he's on the take! McCluskey, that is. What can you tell me about the murder that took place here? Not much, really. We know it was about three hours ago, and we don't know... Was it, we know that her eyes have been surgically removed. Didn't need Dresden to figure out that much. He's been looking at the body, though, so he might have more. Me, I've been scanning the rest of the screen and uh, looking for a witness. But no luck for so, so far. Damn Ripper might as well be a ghost. Maybe he is a ghost. Do you have any leads on the Ripper that I should know about? Ha! Plenty! If you are ask McCluskey, but the truth is we're as clueless as, uh, as you probably are. Thanks for your time, officer. Hey, hold on a minute. You haven't put in a donation for the uh, Lonely Orphans Fund. The Lonely Orphans Fund? Yeah, you see, when you make a contribution to the fund, I put you on a list and let you know the next time we find any orphans that you might be interested in. I think he's asking for a bribe regarding clues. Ah, I'm always interested in finding out about any new orphans, unless they actually are literally giving me orphans, because that's going to be creepy as shit. 
Excellent. So we say 300? I don't have 300. Even 100 new yen would make a big difference for an orphan these days. He makes a face. Yeah. Well, some orphans have expensive tastes than others. 200 in particular. Uh, I don't have 200 either. I could sell something, but I don't have it on my person. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Money. Well, there you go. We'll try to save some money up next time. Elf. The elf standing before you may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you have ever seen. His meticulously clean lab coat, formal jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. He notices you approach and locks eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Hello there, stranger. Might I inquire? Do you know which organ grinder facility this body will be removed to? Uh... Why would you want to know something like that? The elf giggles a strange high-pitched war warble uh, you would not expect to emerge from his misshapen face. He's not that ugly. I mean, maybe elves like look really good, but he's like fine. Jeez, everyone's a little bit harsh here. Oh, just a hobby. Never mind that, though. A good evening to you and your friend the coroner. Learn more about the Pike Place murder. Don't have freaking money on us. I have expensive taste too, and it comes in the variety of Hawaiian shirts and robots. Let's talk to Frank over here. The orc before you wears a standard stuffer sack employee getup. The uniform is well kept and well fitted, but the tears streaming down his large crooked face do little to improve his appearance. He does not seem to notice your approach. Uh... I take it you knew the victim? Yeah, what's it to you? Uh, my condolences. Were you too close? Thanks. Sorry, we're just used to folks being too friendly around here. The orc wipes some... I'm not used to uh, folks being too friendly around here. The orc wipes some of the tears away with a dirty napkin. Yeah. We were pretty close, as co-workers go. Blind Lucy. Blind Lucy and I worked here for... Why are they... If they took... They took one person's spleen and they took a blind woman's eyes. And they took a drunkard's liver. What the hell do they want with all these, like, wrecked organs? That's weird. You know, how could you make some sort of Frankenstein's monster with bad organs? Well, Lucy wasn't completely blind, but she was legally blind. She had to wear these huge glasses and hold things right up to her face. But she got new eyes about a year ago. Oh, she got new eyes. Huh. I wonder if, uh, what's-his-face got a new liver recently? She wouldn't talk much about it. She just called it her stroke of good luck. I guess that luck ran out. Seen anyone strange in the store lately? I see weird stuff every day. It's a stuffer shack. But no, nothing stranger than usual. Did Lucy have any enemies? Well, I'm not sure. I know she had an ugly breakup with her boyfriend after getting those new eyes put in. The guy was pretty upset for some reason and wouldn't leave Lucy be until she filed for a restraining order. Uh, that all seemed to die down a while ago, though. When was the last time you saw Lucy? Here at the shack, earlier today. I think she was heading to the market to meet a friend. Hell, I was going to join her on my way home, but uh, we got some last-minute customers. All right. Uh, sorry for your loss. Uh, I am. Why? Uh, Lucy had this necklace, an intricate little carving of a dragonfly on it. Wore it every day. Said her mother gave it to her when she left Denver. Anyway, you know how Lone Star is. Uh, all of her stuff will be bagged and placed in evidence until the seventh world awakens. I just thought... Um, yeah, I understand. If I can find it at the scene, I'll bring it back to you. Thanks for your help. All right, let's head back and try to grab it. Oh, man, if he could give us... I'm sad that I didn't have that money on hand. I wish there was an option for, like, yeah, just give me a minute. I'm going to run downtown and grab some money. Oh, this is a new question. Uh, He's gone now, but what is it? We're talking about this uh, the elf that we saw down there. He's gone now, but he was asking about the body, wondering which organ grinder facility he would be taken to. 
Interesting. Well, uh, there's those who might be interested in purchasing some of her parts, sure. But that's pretty poor uh, form to inquire at the site of the murder. An ugly elf, eh? I'll keep an eye out. Shouldn't be too hard to spot when he comes back. Anytime. Oh, damn it, I don't have enough quickness. Do we want to purchase up our quickness just to grab this stupid thing? Do we have no money? Ah, oh, let me look into it. I do kind of want to get that for her. And I was planning on putting up quickness in the future. I'm horribly misspending my stuff. Let's pick up that four. Ah, oh, yeah, I'll confirm that. It'll help us dodge in the future. I'm, I'm fine with it. Quickness four. Bam. Done. Primarily, this was character. Uh, I want to go with quickness, or was it intelligence and quickness? And then, of course, your uh, body and uh, willpower, just to kind of make us a little bit more durable. I'm not hugely concerned about charisma. I'll give Frank the necklace. There we go. We got one karma back, at least. All right, let's continue on our epic journey for adventure. Junkie. Uh, hey guy, you got some extra uh, new yen? Just need some uh, uh, sku zoom for the shack over there. Um, yeah, here's ten. I have ten dollars at least, but don't want to give it to a junkie. Suko Zoom. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna help you kill yourself. <laughs> oh balls! Robot attack! Paco! Um what do you got, Paco? What do you got for me, Paco? So we got an SMG, uh from where we're sitting right now. Shit, actually let's Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that at all. There we go. That happened. I was going to move over here. Uh... Let's tear him up with our Doberman. Ah. Yeah, take that, you bastard. Oh, does the Doberman have another... A oh, the Doberman gets two actions. Oh. Yeah, take it, you son of a bitch. I'm actually more okay with him beating up Paco than actually me. Um, so I have that, and I have my Decker thing. I could punch the guy. So that that thing's on. I don't want to punch it. Don't I have my... Um, I thought I had my deck thing on. Don't I have my deck thing on? Can I enhance targeting or something? Yeah, I can enhance targeting. Take it! That is excellent. Excellent indeed. Robot didn't take any damage. Uh, we're gonna... We're just gonna head over here. And look down this back alley. I don't see anything. I'm happy with how that turned out. Saved myself $10. I got to shoot a guy. The robot works well. Okay, we're ready. Let's do this! All right, the royal apartments. You roll up on the most impressive bit of tenement square. Oh, is it squalor? Uh, squalor, excuse me. You've seen in a long time. There's a few street lamps here, and what light there is flickers with uncertainty. Most of the buildings are damaged and tagged. The smell of old rotten trash mixed with you don't want to know is every. Oh, is it overwhelming? It's no wonder people living here turn to BTLs. Anything better than? Uh, was it anything's better than this? Uh, this better-than-life chip is the newest drug on the market. 
you need a good life. Uh, you can slot someone else's, live through them, and wreck your ba brain in the process. The front doors of the royal apartments aren't even locked. As you step inside, you can hear a junkie crying for another hit. It's time to find Coyote and find out who she knows about. Oh, is it what she knows about the night of Sam's murder? All right, let's pop in here. The royal apartments. What a hole! Can't imagine it was like uh, this for. Oh, is it? I can't imagine what it was like for a coyote growing up here. Uh, yeah, hell, was it? Well, it's it's unfortunate for the people here. If Coyote's here, we'll have to hurry. She's good, uh, what is it? She's good, but, well, these BTL guys uh, pay to stay well informed. They may know she's coming. All right, let's roll up in this joint. A tweaker. What do you know, tweaker? Uh, the woman scratches herself like a cat with a cat leg. Uh, can you spare some neon? Um... No, drop the chips and get clean, you son of a bitch. I'm not going to help you destroy your life. Hey, we can't all be like you. <laughs> no, you can't, because the Hawaiian t-shirt is pretty hard to get in the post kind of... Uh, not apocalyptic, but pretty damn close. Uh, what was it? I need one BTL to get through the day. Two tops, what do you say? That doesn't sound like a good idea. You have seen a woman come through here today, armed looking for trouble. Yes, no, hell, what do you know, what is it, what do you want me to say? Uh, I'll tell you anything, everything, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, but I can't help you. You need to leave this place now. But that doesn't make any sense. The BTLs are here. I need something. She collapses whimpering and seems to, uh, was it, seems lost to the world. Oh, that's unfortunate. More of them. All right. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? I don't want any trouble. Easy, Gramps. I'm not looking for info. What is it? I'm looking for information. Then I'm gone. Uh... Yeah. What uh, what kind of vantage point do you get here, Gramps? Yeah. Every was it? Everything in this body has gone to rust, set my eyes and ears. Bit of commotion upstairs earlier. Stevie's men are twitchy. This pretty young thing came through earlier, snooping around like you two are. Uh, I could tell she wasn't here for BTLs. I don't know how she got upstairs, but there was a lot of more gunfire from uh, than there than is usually. Ahem! <coughs> I've been talking a lot recently, alright? Give me a break! Ah, uh, that's not good. Did you see her come back down? Nope. A couple of Stevie's men came around asking if anyone saw anything. Get my mouth shit. Alright. Damn it, we have to go up there. Uh, looks sounds like Coyote's run uh, went sideways on her. Uh, it's an extraction now. How do we get upstairs? Damn it! I'm not buying those. Uh, what is it? I can't get. What was it? You've been uh, right friendly, but I can't get on the wrong side of Stevie J. Uh, I'm sure you understand. You're already stuck on your neck. Uh, this. Uh, we'll find another way. Yeah, find another way. Oh, there we go. There we go. Over there's. However, let's look around first. Ah, oh, there we go, so my drone through the hole. Your drone fits through the wall, snakes to the right and back around, open the apartment door for the inside. There we go. Yeah, that's right, lady. I just totally did that. Looks like we can head up from there, but I want to ask some more questions. Looks like we could have hacked her door as well. Uh, stop your pleading. Your boy has debts and we're collecting. Simp? Please, Riker, no! He's my son! Oh, get your ass back in the squat before I break something else. I'll send him upstairs instead. You want me to give him to Stevie? Maybe after he kills that girl we caught. Ooh, they haven't killed her yet. You pig, give Zipper back now or, or you'll bleed on me. Zipper's gone. Get yourself a new kid. Oh, that's sad. No, please, no. Gonna kick this guy's ass. That's what I'm going to do. Let's talk to this guy first of all. This is my home! Get out! What was that all about? Why do you care? It's my son! That bastard took my son! Who took your son? One of Stevie J's goons, Riker. He turns, that vi <laughs> he turns out that filthy BTL squad across the hall. 
My son Zipper, he's not a strong boy, and Riker knows it. Lured him in with those damn chips, better than life. Ha! What life? And now they're torturing him in there. Um. Why would they do that? Those sickos have a SimSense recording studio over there. Overheard them say that they have a special guest up in the penthouse. They plan to torture her with recording my son's dying breath. Oh, that's sad. Um. Yep. Keep, stay frosty, Paco. She's still alive. You're right. Let's be okay. What about my son? Um. I'll see if I can save your son while we're saving our friend. Thank you. Thank you. Street justice time! Oh, wait, wait. There's something in his house. I am a loot whore. A combat in stim that increases your quickness by one and AP for five ones. What would you like to do with it? Um, send this to my stash. How can I send stuff to my stash but I can't retrieve shit from my stash? If somebody knows how to retrieve shit from your stash in field, I would greatly want to know. Coming for you, Riker! Check out his computer here. Hey, don't touch that. I'll touch whatever I want, Riker. Haven't seen you before, guy. You looking for, uh, go somewhere special? Think you're in the middle of recording? Sure am. My gear is state of the art, if you can believe it. How about a tour of the amazing studio? Give me the kid, uh, yeah. Tour of this amazing studio. Listen, guy, I'm too busy for your chit-chat. Buy something or get out. I think I'll have a look around and think about it. Don't make me fight you. I will fight you. Uh, who knows? Could be anything. Probably something right along. No, he's torturing that kid. Uh, I decided that I need to kick your ass. Combat drone on. Oh, there we go. How does that taste, you bastard? Ernest! To cover! <laughs> We're not a fighter. Oh, okay, that was it. That was the end of combat. Okay. I'm going to check out his computer now. Ooh, Decker. Now we're going to buy that shit up. Uh, BTL library. Uh, let's send a sad BTL to the plugged in junkies. Get him off the juice. Recording studio. Download that, just in case. Reboot studio software. All right. Tickler, who are you? Get out! Can't you see I'm working here? Leave now and never come back, and hurry before I change my mind. Good. You don't want to mess with the data boo. You don't know me. However, let's put a little bit of points into our decking skill, because that's coming up now. And that's the main concept of the character, right? Damn it. I'm going to spend some uh, karma. We're going to do some stuff. So let's buy our decking up. Buy our decking up to three. There we go. That's what I like to see. We'll save the rest for right now. Take a look at these elevator controls. You cut through the fe was it feeble security protocols with ease. Uh, elevator passcode. There we go. Main menu. Uh, log out. Zipper here. But you got yourself messed up in here, Zipper. Uh, BTL junkies twitch in the throes of their sordid dreams. One bored man stands ready to administer another chip if the creds are good. Uh, I don't know who you are, but thanks. You got lucky today, kid. If I were you, I'd play it safe from now on. You don't get lucky twice. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Tough love! Alright, let's go get his dad to pick his ass up. Is 
Zipper's okay, but he's pretty messed up. You should go check on him. Check on the boy. Alright, looks like they're handling this situation over here. Let's look over here. What's going on here? That is a... Uh, looks like an orc hooker. Some stuff over here. And the elevator gleams at the end of the hallway out of place among the filth. Huh. I don't want to take up the main elevator, though. I want to go in through the back way and sneak up on those sons of bitches. That's what we're going to do. We're going to sneak up on those sons of bitches. Once we go upstairs, I'm not leaving until I find Coyote or I'm dead. You get it? Ah. Uh, yeah, I get it. You gotta be a freaking hero, Paco. The penthouse suite. CVJ's penthouse apartment might have been uh, nice at one point in time, classic even, but now it's filled with neon tube lighting, broken down furniture, and piles of rubbish, and crates containing who knows what. Still, compared to the rest of what I've seen, it's positively palatable, or <laughs> palatial. The only thing marrying the penthouse pseudo luxury is a woman's cries, oh, marring, the penthouse pseudo's luxury is a woman's cries and the pain in the distance. Excuse me. Followed by laughter. Someone being tortured for another's pleasure. You step deeper into the apartments. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments about the video or what you may want to see on the channel in the future, please leave us a comment below. And if you'd like to see more of our future videos, feel free to subscribe.